What's up, what's up? This is King J and today we're gonna be diving into 2K and specifically offenses. Um, for many people who have played 2K a lot, uh, in the past years you know that the offensive settings and defensive settings, they didn't particularly work. You set them up and they wouldn't work. Um, well on next gen, I'm not sure about uh, PS4, but on next gen, PS5, Xbox, Series X, the offense and defensive settings work beautifully. They do exactly, your players will do exactly what you put in your settings. So um, I've been grinding uh, Play Now Online and I realized uh, I got to a point where I maxed out. I couldn't get any more wins. I was wondering what was going on. And I realized the guys online, they run both defenses and offense. So I switched to a zone, tried to learn the zone defense, ended up learning it. I'm doing pretty good with it, but uh, my offense was still lacking. That's when I realized you could run freelance offense. Now, don't confuse freelance with series. Because a freelance is different from a series. A series is your set plays. Like if you go and you call a floppy, um, you go and you call any type of play. For a set player, they have the playbook, each team's playbook. We're not getting into that today. We're talking about specifically freelance. Freelance is what your players do. As soon as you come up the court, wherever you're standing, your players will set up in their freelance and start doing uh, the freelance motions, the freelance sets. Um, it's important for a lot of reasons because uh, make it space the floor. You can really space the floor how you want to space it. You can get guys in positions that you want to get. And more importantly, if you're going against the zone defense, you can also uh, manipulate that zone defense a little bit better um, than using default or quite frankly, any other offense. The reason why I've made this video today is because I realized the triangle offense is probably the most dominant in 2K. Uh, you do need uh, uh, the right players. You do need post players who can who are, who are pretty big and strong. But other than that, um, you can pretty much plug any type of shooter into it. You'll see today I'll use the current Lakers. They never ran the triangle, but uh, today in 2K, I'm going to use the current Lakers uh, against the current Portland Trailblazers online. And I'm going to be running some some uh, triangle offense. I'm going to break it down and show you guys exactly why it's so effective. Um, in real life, the triangle offense creates 350 possible scoring opportunities per five seconds. Uh, just through passing and ball movement and player space. So uh, you're going to see as I break down the gameplay how, how effective it is. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So like I said, today we're breaking down the triangle offense. Now I'm using the current Lakers uh, playing against the Portland Trailblazers. First thing I do is I go into my timeout. It's critical you go into your timeout and set up your sets because if you do not, they will not work. You cannot just do it in the offensive settings in the, in the pause menu, although it does give you that option. Once you start playing, you'll realize they're not in the exact set you want. Players won't be standing where you where they should in that set. And as you can see, there's a lot of different sets we can run here. Um, I'll make videos later getting into them once I dive into them. But for right now, we're going to focus on the triangle. So I'll go to my sets, do the triangle offense, just doing some defensive settings, rebound limit, focus player on Damian Lillard. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a lot of defensive settings. That's because they do work. Um, so I'm going no threes because they have a lot of shooters on Portland. Uh, in transition, I want to wall up because they don't particularly have a lot of transition three-point shooters. Um, so I'm walling up on transition. I'm crashing the glass and I'm focusing on Lillard. And I'm running the triangle. Um, what do I do here? I go and I, oh, I switch on ball screens to go over just to chase him off the three-point line if he does get a screen. Um, but let's get into it. All right, so I come up the court here. Right away, the first thing you do with a tri with, the, with a triangle is you pass to the wing. You're gonna have your dominant big, which is Anthony Davis in the paint. Your your two other shooters are gonna be on the other side of the court. LeBron passes to Kuzma. He's gonna go and cut around and come back to the corner. 
Anthony Davis is, is a beast. I said, hey, I'm gonna take that dunk. And this is the thing with the, with the triangle. You're gonna have constant motion, and I will make a video breaking it down a little bit more in scrimmage, but you're gonna have a constant motion of setting up that triangle in the corner. The key is, especially with those defenses, to get an overload of players on one side of the court. Once you do that, it throws zone defenses and for the most part, man defenses off. I'm gonna see, I do it again here. So I give it to Kuzma, LeBron goes to the corner, and now I have two options. I had two options there. I could have passed to LeBron, but he was cutting off. If you could see right now, he's controlling Damian Lillard, trying to cut off that pass to LeBron. So I threw it down to Anthony Davis. Now from here, players do a lot of um, different movements and they'll do a lot of different off ball screens. Um, they'll cut back door. I've seen instances, instances where they'll have LeBron cut back door behind Anthony Davis. Um, Kuzma might go set a screen for Wesley Matthews here. There's a lot of different options. So I go here and I post up Giles because he's a weaker, he's a weaker big. But I had a lot of different options there. You have to have a dominant big to run the triangle. That's the key. If you don't have a dominant big, it will work, but not as good because you don't have that post threat that keeps guys on their toes. And you also have to have shooters around it. If you notice, I'm starting LeBron James at point guard. I have KCP at small forward. I have Wesley Matthews at shooting guard. And I have Kuzma at power forward and Anthony Davis at center. This is because I want complete floor spacing. I want all my other guys other than the dominant big to be able to shoot the three ball pretty well. They all have above 83 point rating. I'm just playing some defense here. I'm in the 2-3 zone, in case you're wondering. Damian Lillard gets the three. All right. We're coming up the court now. I'm, I'm doing this voiceover as I'm watching myself. So um, he passes to Kuzma. Again, go to the corner. Boom, triangle. Now he can come out. Again, he, very, he's just trying to force Davis to, to make a shot in the paint, I guess. Um, yeah. Oh. So um, online, the uh, the post moves are, are, are a bit difficult. Um, you got to get that layup timing just right for the post, the post moves. So he set up the triangle again. This time, LeBron's just going to drive it on Lillard because I had the mismatch. But you see, with that spacing, you're able to take advantage of mismatches the reason being if you pause right here i'm driving to the basket on damian Lillard. the way the floor is spaced if if carmelo anthony if you see carmelo anthony at the top over there because of the floor space in the triangle if he helps over kcp's open in the corner um if Cantor, the biggest guy on the on the court he's up there because he has to guard kuzma at the top of the key because he's also a shooter and if Guile steps over, it's an easy dump off to Davis. This is why you have to have floor spacing. Because if you don't have a KCP or a Kuzma or a Wesley Matthews, those guys could help. And when they help and you kick it out for a shot, you're not going to be as confident to take that shot. If they're closing out, you're most likely going to miss because they're not elite shooters. You have to have elite shooters in the triangle. Um, it's been said that the triangle doesn't create three-point opportunities um i'm realizing well at least in 2k i'm not sure about in real life but at least in 2k that the triangle creates opportunities at the three opportunities at the mid-range opportunities in the post it's up to you to be patient and decide what you want so as you see here i drive in on the third get the dunk because nobody could help i have shooters all over um, going back into some defense He's trying to get a little open. Now, I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm gonna run a fast break here. If I slow it down, it's a fast break. LeBron, kind of tempting. Trying to get to a, a play where I slow it down. Here we go, we're gonna run the triangle again. LeBron goes to the corner. Now from the corner, you have so much options. I give it to Davis, post spin, dunk. So it's all about getting the spacing. And from there, you just pick your poison. Once the floor is spaced like that, it's really hard to play defense because you can't really help out. And I'm not even really getting into all the sets. I'm kind of just taking the best shot when I see it. But if you go and you get into some sets, I will make a video in the future. I'm just starting out, but I will make a video in the future about sets. Um, where I go into scrimmage, and I'm going to kind of show you the different actions that you can trigger 
uh, with these sets. So again, we're making that triangle. Give it to KCP in the corner this time. Anthony Davis swings out. And we go and we set it up over here instead. Once Davis gets in the post on Giles, uh, I gotta try. Of course, they don't get the bucket there. Back in the 2-3 zone. Trying to get open with Lillard. I got him trapped in the corner. He's going to have to pass it out. I stay on Lillard because I know that's who he's trying to go to. I see it all game, so I'm staying on him. He's, he can't. He, he doesn't seem like he's able to score without Lillard. He gets my up. Shot clock violation. So see, he's trying to get to Lillard. So when I play my zone, I stay to the guy closest to Lillard and make sure he can't really get that pass off. Um, they're back into uh, offense. So we're going to... Oh, it's a quick up. So see that floor spacing there. I'm going to go back to that because that floor spacing there. Yes, I didn't run the triangle, but just the fact that the, they were where they were. Just the fact that the guys are spaced where they are, it creates so much hassle for the defense. Now, I have five shooters. Davis is in the post. Kuzma and Matthews cannot be helped off. They both have an 85 plus three point shooter um, attribute. They're both attribute rating for their three-pointers are both 85 and above. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I know I always check the, the guys' attributes before I play with them. Um, I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they're snipers. So those guys aren't helping off. And then again, the important thing is now we have Cantor up there as a big man who cannot help off of Kuzma. If he does, he's too slow to get back out there. Kuzma's going to drain it. Um, so I got a little behind me now. KCP, because of the floor spacing, he stays in the corner. So when I drive in on, on, on Melo, he follows me with Lillard because he's it's LeBron, right? Kick out to KCP, open shot, he misses it. But you see that floor spacing. Now I make the triangle again, kick it to Davis. This game I was really just doing work with Davis because I had that mismatch on KCP, as you can see. Not taking advantage of it. But for you, you might be better in the post than me right so this is all about just showing you exactly the type of looks you can get with the triangle this guy's not running a zone um i will have a match up soon where a guy is running a zone when i'm doing my scrimmage i'll also show the guys in a zone because once you get into the deeper leagues of online guys start running zone it becomes pretty hard to score with ice or basketball you gotta you gotta run an offensive set you gotta have the players that match if not, you're going to get fried. A lot of the top guys, that's what they're doing. They're running offensive sets. They're running defensive sets. So I got Wes Matthews in the corner here because LeBron's the driving threat. Can't hit the bucket. Again, he's trying to abuse Dame. End of the quarter. Now, I want to get into um, the second half because that's when I really started creating some shots with that, with that, um, with that, with that triangle. So I'm going to get into the, the second half here. So once again, I think this is a fast break from Davis. I wouldn't pass that up. I'm going to shoot some free throws. I skip this defensive sequence. Um, all right, coming up the court now. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run a half court set here. Um, so again, triangle, boom, Kuzma, Wesley Matthews, Anthony Davis. Once again, LeBron's a shooter up at the top of the key. Kuzma in the wing, Wesley Matthews in the corner. Those guys cannot help off. If they have a weaker center, your center is going to eat food, whether it be Anthony Davis, Shaquille O'Neal. Whoever you're using, Wilt Chamberlain, I tried it with all the elite bigs. If you do not have a big guy down there, whether you're playing zone or man, with this floor spacing, there will be nobody to help your, help your big. So as you can see here, I get him off balance. Spin. Easy bucket. It's all about floor spacing. If you play on default, your floor will not be spaced like this. You'll wonder why guys are just not in the right spots. You'll wonder why you have bigs at the three-point line. It's all about the offensive sets, and each offensive set creates different spacing. And that's the key. That's the key to beating elite defenders. Because some guys play crazy defense on this. 
as you can see my defense is pretty crazy a um a, a iso player isn't going to, to beat me in the game because you'll get one one and two shots but uh my zone defense is going to take away pretty much uh whatever you're trying so i'm going to be set up the triangle here i have anthony davis on the high post there's a lot of ball movement going on as you can see i get lebron the top key i try to drive for it because there's nobody in the post um this guy's not really hot he doesn't really have anybody big in the post so lebron can abuse that coming up the court this time we got a little fast break action all right now no matter how you pass it no matter who gets it they will set up the triangle and that's the elite part about this offense it'll keep going continuous until you can get a shot as you can see here there's two guys on the wings you have wesley matthews up top you have kuzma at the bottom uh wing right there you got anthony davis in the post from here i can execute the triangle by on either side it's your pick i pass to kuzma lebron's gonna go to that corner if i pass to wesley matthews up top kcp is gonna fill that corner and whichever corner i go to anthony davis is gonna sit at the post right so no matter which way if i pass to kuzma here you see anthony davis turns back and he comes back to the post he's gonna come back to this post i get fouled but i just want to show you how anthony davis is about to come back to this post kcp is gonna come fill this corner if i don't like this look i could swing this back to lebron case and then i'll have uh, wesley matthews or kcp will go over to that corner and then anthony davis will sit at that post so regardless, if they try to take away the look, you can always get into the triangle. That's why it's so elite. You guys could play off ball. Guys could try to read your passes. The triangle always gives you two entry options into what you're trying to do. So, and as you know, in 2K, you can only control one guy at a time, which means that the defense won't be able to stop you from getting the ball where you want in this offense, no matter what they do. I've tried this offense online. As you can see here, I've tried it multiple times, and it's always the same thing. When, they have they there's no stopping it this is once you have that dominant big and you got a bunch of shooters and you got a ball handler like lebron who can also create there's no stopping this offense i get filed here so i didn't really get to set it up my bench comes in i keep the amazing thing is you can still run it with your bench as long as you have a big body i have marcus all here and boom i didn't hit that shot but you see the open look I got just from the floor spacing, right? Now we're over here. We're going to set up the triangle with Marc Gasol. Same thing. It's the bench, but it's the same thing. It really doesn't matter. Once I start backing down, you see the threat. I start backing down, Dame has to double team. Nobody stays stagnant in this offense. Right away, Shooter runs over to the top of the key. Open shot. So there's always ball movement. There's always ball movement, and that's what I love about this offense. I hate when I'm playing 2K and my offensive guys who are just who are not on ball are just standing still. They're not moving, and you're wondering how am I supposed to score? This offense fixes all of that. Once I pass here again, triangle. Mark Gasol is gonna come over to this post. Shooter's gonna go in the corner. I passed too early just because I see Marc Gasol had that, that, that height advantage on Giles. But as you can see, every time you come up the court, the first thing your guys do is set up in that triangle. Look, whenever you see... Oh, I think I break that one to do a quick pick and roll for Marc Gasol. Yeah. All right, let's see if I do it here properly. I'm sorry, I'm voice recording over my game as I'm watching it. But as soon as you, you see you make that post pass, somebody always fills the corner. Every time you make that pass to the wing, somebody's going to come through the corner. Guy comes to the post. Boom. Triangle. You see that Marc Gasol, McKinney, and Marcus Morris all in the corner. Or Markeith, whichever one. Once you have that overload, even if guys are playing zone, they can't double the post now because you have two shooters in the corner and you have your dominant big. It spreads out. The, it just spreads out the floor. And then guys do like all these type of actions. They cut. They set screens. Kick back to Marc Gasol. Like it's 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 it just creates so much shots. It creates too much shots because when I get the ball here, Marcus Saul says, "Okay, I'll come screen." Everybody's so spread out. 
I took all the other guys out of the picture because I have Horton, Tucker, Morris, and Shooter who are all shooters on the wing. They can't help. It becomes a two-man game. He tries to double down the paint because he realizes I'm about to go dunk. Leaves Marcus all in the corner. He's a decent shooter. Bam. So it's all about floor spacing. This offense is elite. Um, I would say go in your scrimmage and just try it out. Try it out with a team that it suits. Like I said, you got to have a post-scoring guard and a, or a post-scoring big. Helps to have both. The more star power you have in the post, guys who uh, can just be a threat in the post and just cause defenses to collapse in when they get it in the post. Those guys are elite in this offense. You got to have shooters. You also have to have shooters around. If you don't have any shooters, then the guys are going to help off and you won't feel as confident to kick it out and shoot. So um, I'm going to make a video uh, in the future just, just outlining the offense and just outlining how, um, just how many... Uh, different shot opportunities you can get um but I, I win this game pretty easily again it's portland uh, i didn't expect to lose uh, although some guys have these damien lillard and they have <laughs> they've really uh, done some work but uh, it's really about just game planning like if you see here i got i got damien lillard's game plan all set up so i'm uh, i'm uh, i'm running up i'm running a zone so i just make sure that off ball we're denying um on screens we're going over force direction i want to force him baseline because i'm running a zone as you can see here i'm i'm, I'm fixing with it but normally you'd want to for I, i'm not sure why i did that at the time probably in the game i've seen something different but normally you want to force baseline uh when you're running that zone just, just a little defensive inside there because as you can see when you run zone uh those corners are basically trapped because the three and the four in the corner, that guard from the top comes over and traps once they get in the corner. So you want to force them baseline. And then you want a user. You see, a user, the guy on the opposite side of the screen. Mendel's being double teamed. He tries to pass it. I pick off the pass. Just a little deep. I mean, this is not a defensive video. I'll make one of those soon just to show you guys how to run zones, which is way more effective than any man defense. Um, but if you just see here quickly, two, three zone, like I said, you want to force them to the corners because then when they go to the corner, they're getting doubled and triple teamed just because of how the two, three zone is set up. Now I use Wesley Matthews. I control him and I take away Lillard. He has no pass right here. Stop. If he, if he was a smart passer, he would have passed to Covington in the corner over there. Kuzma might not be fast enough to get back over there. Cause that's his zone. He's the power forward, but, um, He's looking for Dame this whole game. So he's just trying to... And I took away Dame because I, I prefer Covington shoot than Dame because he was in rhythm with Dame all game. He tries to pass it over there. Quick pick off. I'll make a defensive video um, later on just showing about uh, zone defenses, how effective they are, which ones to use. Um, there's really only 2-3 three and 3-2. Three, um, I'm gonna, I'll make a video on the 2-3 zone because for me, it's the most effective and gets me a lot of stops, especially in half court once you can set it up. Fast break like that, you don't have a chance. So, yeah, once again, I'm coming up the court. Quick little post up. Uh, taking some threes. So once again, once again, you can see as soon as I come up the court, every time you come up the court, once you put that set in triangle, every time you come up the court, guy runs to the wing. Again, you always have two guys at the wings. You have Wesley Matthews up at the top wing. You have KCP here. Whichever one you pass to, you're going to have somebody go fill that corner and then your big's going to go over there. And then it forms a triangle. Right there. Davis, in this case, he gets a lot of easy buckets because he's going up against Giles. And then again, you got Kuzma, you got Pope, you got LeBron, you got Wes Matthews, all shooters. He, they can't help. No help. Dunk. So it really exposes your the other defender's big. If they don't have a decent big, it really exposes it. That's, that's the first option. If they can't help, and you got to have shooters again, because if again, once you see with this triangle, I have shooters. That's why it's affected. That's why he can't help. That's, look, he, he, he knows he's about to get cooked and he cannot help because I got Kuzma up top, Pope, LeBron. You got to be able to shoot. 
You gotta be able to shoot to keep him honest. I can shoot with these guys. So if he were to help, pass. Somebody's gonna shift over, swing, swing. I'm, somebody's gonna get open. That's how the triangle works. In this case, he doesn't help. He takes his, he takes his chances with Giles. Bad move, boy. Bad move. All right. This game was never really, never really in the in the, in the up in the air. Once again, just 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 the triangle offense. It just it just creates so many opportunities because when guys set up, they may be open before you can even pass. Look, KCP is gonna go to his corner to set up the triangle. He's gonna go to his wing. I pass to him in the wing. Now LeBron was supposed to go to the corner, but because I there's nobody on him because I I think he's running a zone. He's running a zone, yeah. So it looks like he's running a two three zone. So if you see Lillard and, and uh Gary Trent up top, and then he has Giles in the center with Melo and Cantor on the wings. Now, and he's stupid because he should have put Cantor in the middle, he would have been a little bit more effective to guard Davis. But um basically, once Pope gets this ball somebody might not always be on him. And this is why it works even better on a zone. Because Kuzma's up there. You can't come off of him. LeBron can shoot. So it leaves Pope wide open before I even set up the zone. Easy bucket. So it just creates so many chances. So many. Like, like I looked on Sports Science. It said 350 opportunities every five seconds. I, couldn't, I didn't believe it. But then when they explained why, it makes sense. Maybe not in 2K, but in real life, if it's run properly, this offense can create crazy amount of opportunities in 2k if you can shoot if you know if you have a balanced attack and if you know how to play with different guys it is just overpowered it's the most overpowered offense in the game once you have the guys who could run it look so this is this is basically the triangle how it gets set up you know right away once you come up the court you're gonna have a guy at the the right corner or left corner in this case kuzma he's on the weak side you come up the court, you got a guy on the weak side wing. You're gonna have a guy on the strong side wing. You're gonna have a guy, Wesley Matthews, in the corner. You're gonna have Anthony Davis. You pass to that guy, it initiates the, the triangle right away. You gotta pass fast. That's why I gotta keep stopping because I'm passing so fast, the play will go by. But you gotta make the passes quick, not give them a chance to try to read where you're going. So now I give this to Wesley Matthews. So somebody's gonna come fill this corner. Anthony Davis is already in the post. He's running a zone. Right? So he comes and he fills this, right? So look, this is why it messes up the zone. Because now there's an overload on one side. You have Kuzma over there. You have LeBron up top of the key. There's an overload on this side because I have two shooters in Pope and Wesley Matthews on the wing. And then I have Anthony Davis ready to destroy Giles in the post. He tries to help. He sees this. He sees that, look, I can't keep letting Anthony Davis destroy. He comes off of LeBron. That's a bad move. He recovers perfectly but as you can see the opportunities just keep coming he recovers perfectly to lebron as you can see in the left corner there caldwell pope wide open we also have wesley matthews moving pope in the corner again nobody's quick enough to get over there it's an open shot it just create it creates too much if you guys practice this offense in scrimmage it will make you unstoppable in 2k it slows down the pace so guys who like to come online and run and gun, it slows it right down. No, you're not doing that. It takes time off the clock, and it gets you efficient shots. Look at that. He's scrambling, trying to figure out how my offense is going to be set up this time. It's fast break. He gets into the 2-3 zone. I give it to LeBron. Look, everybody's scrambled. Nobody knows where to go. I got a shooter in the corner over there. I got Davis cutting to the basket. LeBron's open for the three. Like it's it, 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 it's you you cannot play default offense and expect guys to play smart when you when they don't have the ball. It's default. You gotta run an offensive set. Again, they've been in the game for the past two years, but apparently they just got them to work. So um, now we got offense. We got finally got offensive sets in two K. Uh, you could run the triangle. You could run the Princeton offense. You could run. You could run. You could run WNBA offense. You could run whatever set. And from each set, you have a lot of different actions that come out of them. And then the floor spacing. It's just a good tactic. But like if you see a guy running a zone, you know, boom, go into the triangle, spread out his zone. If you're running 4-1 out, you could do a lot of different stuff with this. And I'm going to make videos later just kind of 
explaining and showing the different um different freelances and how you can get into them how to how to trigger them when you're on the court and just how much damage they could do when used right um just enjoy the last minute of this game uh again this is king j i'm signing out um i'll be up with the next video probably uh, in a day or two